Wow, hi YouTube. It's uh, Armoured Cockroach Roach here. Uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to introduce a little series of films that I'm going to make. I'm going to call them uh, Backyard Survival because uh, I think this is where we learn the skills that potentially could save our lives. So um, I've set myself a task today. What I'm going to do is bake some bread, but I'm going to bake some bread as if I was in a uh, power down or um, SHTF uh, uh, situation. So um, I'm going to light a fire. Um, I've got a uh, Dutch oven, I'm going to mix up some bread mix. And uh, my plan is to uh, do something as complicated as bake a loaf. Here in the UK uh, last Christmas we had 80,000 people in Scotland that had um, a storm blow through and it took out all the power and they were without power for two weeks. So um, imagine you're in that type of scenario. You know, everybody in the US has just had a tropical storm uh, Isaac blow through and uh, I'm sure there were power outs there. So what I've done is gone into my preps, pulled out the ingredients and I'm gonna bake some bread. And that's my test and what I'd like is I'd like people to try it for yourself. I'd like you to go out into your backyard and bake a loaf. See how you get on. Here we go. So here's the things that I'm gonna be using. This is my uh, fire pit, my brazier. That's where I'm gonna light my fire. Uh, I've got a uh, water bottle and a mug uh, full of water, obviously. There's my uh, Dutch oven. And all I've done is suspend it on a piece of chain on a pole that I've just stuck in the tree. Simple. I processed my wood in advance. Got my kindling all ready to go. And all the ingredients are in place ready to introduce to you. So let's get on with it. Okay everybody, so what we're gonna need is we're gonna need a, um, gonna need to build an upside down fire. So that simply means that the big wood's gonna go on the bottom and uh, smaller and smaller wood uh, going up into a uh, pyramid so that the fire burns down. And uh, that will give us a really good spread of embers and it will give us a uh, hot fire. Really the type of wood that we're gonna wanna use if we're baking bread, if we want a good ember, is, uh, is wood still in the round. And um, ultimately, uh, for a campfire situation, if we want it as long as your forearm, that would be a really good distance. And uh, as thick as your wrist, this one's perhaps a little bit big. Um, I've zipped mine down slightly smaller because they've got a fit in my um, uh, fire pit, you know. So, um, so this is the uh, kind of size that I'm going to get away with. But once your fire's started and uh, it's taken, um, these are the type of uh, pieces of wood that you want to put on it because we want really good embers. In truth, I'm going to light this fire. It's probably going to be an hour before it dies down and uh, we're ready to uh, um, put our bread on you know but of course we'll have to prepare the ingredients in the meantime so uh, um, watch this space okay youtube so of course we're going to need uh, plain flour and we're going to need some uh, yeast i've got 1.5 kilos there about uh, getting on for three pounds of uh, flour which is going to be uh, plenty in fact there's going to be probably a cup full that i'm not going to be using and the, the um, uh, baker's yeast I'm going to mix up in 400 mils of warm water. The rest of my ingredients then are powdered milk, sugar and salt. What you can do if you really want to liven the loaf up is you could put some honey in it. In the front there I've got some, uh, um, some mixed fruit and some nuts. Now what you can do is just run a knife through that and drop it in the mix if you just want to spice it up a little. The measurements of things, I've put two spoons there, two teaspoons of salt and that's what I've got here. Two dessert spoons of powdered milk and of sugar and they're all going to go in the mix. Back soon. So a really good trick when we're making bread in the field is to make sure that all of our utensils are the same temperature. We need 400 mils of warm water to activate the yeast, so we might as well warm up the Dutch oven at the same time.
our YouTube and start making up our bread. Here's our sachet of yeast. Here's our plain flour. What we're going to do is use three quarters of this. Keep about a quarter in the packet because if you make it too wet you can always dry it out and this is great for getting the uh, uh, mix off your hands, dry flour. Next thing that's going in is two dessert spoons of um, powdered milk. Two dessert, tea, uh, two dessert spoons of sugar and two teaspoons of salt. Don't get this one mixed up. Let's just work in this mix. Now what I'm going to do is put in the mixed fruit and the nuts that I uh, showed you earlier. What I'm going to do is activate the yeast, so just open the packet, put it in a uh, cup or a container and put in 400 mils of warm water. Now this is a little bit too warm, so I'll top that up with just a little drop of cold. Okay, here we go. Here's our uh, 400 mils of water with the uh, 7 grams of yeast. Here's where the leftover flour comes in handy. A bit of plain flour on your hands. Cleans them off the tree. Well, that pot's just a little bit too hot to put the bread in to rise, so I'm going to move it up a little. Okay, YouTube, just one thing left to do now, and that's to uh, just oil the pot. All I'm going to do is run a light uh, coating of uh, vegetable oil around the inside of the pot just to uh, make sure that our bread doesn't stick. The pot's cooled down just a little too much now so I'm going to lower it down nearer the flame. As soon as it warms up a little more, we'll be putting the dough in for an hour, just leaving it to rise. Okay YouTube, here's my uh, beautiful loaf that's going to go in. Um, like I say, decided to put the uh, fruit and then the uh, nuts in it. And I'm um, going to put it in the Dutch oven to prove for about an hour. I'm going to leave the pot where it is. And um, in an hour, what I'm going to do is lower it down, put it right on the uh, grate. And there it will cook for uh, 35 to 45 minutes. Let's put it in for you. pot's nice and warm again now. Going to leave the bread in there to rise for about an hour and we'll have another look at it.
okay YouTube been about an hour now so let's uh, see if it's risen Wow, that doesn't look too bad, does it? Okay, now let's lower it down to the flame and cook it. Okay, we'll keep an eye on it, check it in 30 minutes. The moment of truth. It's had about uh, 45 minutes, so let's uh, see what we got. Well, that doesn't look too bad, does it? Pushing the skewer, skewer in just to see if it comes out dry. Doesn't seem too bad at all. Okay, let's see if we can get it out for you. Okay YouTube, that's it out. Let's turn it over, show you the bottom. Last thing you want is a soggy bottom. That doesn't look too bad at all. What it needs now is about an hour to cool. So I'm gonna wrap it up, let it cool down, and then I'm gonna cut you a slice. Lily's here to help me everybody. Here we go, we're um, gonna unwrap our surprise. Hey YouTube, um I, I just I uh, I just love going to school and I do. You yeah. just got home from school? Yes. Yes. Did Daddy come and pick you up? Yeah. Did you have a lovely day? I had a lovely day, yeah. Good, okay. What do you think of our bread we baked in the garden? <laughs> it's still a bit hot, do you want to touch it? Touch it. Ooh, it feels like jelly, isn't it? Feels like jelly? Yeah. I don't think so. What about the bottom? Does the bottom feel okay? No. Oh. Still a bit hot? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll leave it here to cool down for just a bit longer. Yeah. yeah. Before we cut everybody on YouTube a slice. Yeah. Okay. That's me and the old picnic. Okay, YouTube, so it's just been a little bit of fun. But um, what I'd like you to do is to uh, send me a video response of how you would make you and your family some bread in a power out or off the grid uh, situation. Okay, you YouTube, so little my little... Film, please comment, rate, subscribe. But as always, thanks for watching. Cheers YouTube. That is not a bad loaf of bread.